What is going on guys? Death Walks Alone here and today I wanted to analyze Hoodless 2 weekly uh, tournament. I was 0-2'd, played a 2 matchups I don't know but that's I mean that's the way it is. You don't put the work in. Big shout out to JB and Ian for uh, kicking my behind. I've been seeing them grinding and I played them over the last few days so that was kind of cool. Uh, that also shout out to Hoodless and everybody else taking part and trying to make it smooth. So let's go ahead and pop in JB's match first. <sighs> Gonna have it load, of course. That's always lovely. And so for this match, uh, I had just been playing. Uh, JB for warm up actually for off and on across the last couple hours and he never once used Tamaki so that was really entertaining that's who he went with uh, we both were just kind of going random and stuff I always like doing that as well for before a tournament to relax instead of being so serious and worrying about my inputs and everything you know you trained up already to this point so here we go. So we're coming in, and I just know a tiny bit that she can do. Uh, it's mostly just a nuisance to me. <laughs> I think we're both pretty nervous because we're just missing setups and everything. Uh, I can't, man. I just haven't been practicing that. I just learned that combo, but it's all right. So. I don't know what's safe and unsafe with her, and he just keeps killing uh, what I'm doing. I feel like uh, I've developed some pretty bad habits, and he takes full advantage the whole time. We both have some pretty bad habits, probably because of our how nervous we were. But uh, you'll kind of see as our through our set, like I'll rush too far in when I'm when I shouldn't be. You know, just give him room to breathe if you can't get him on wake up. I mean, he hits me so many times. So, but we're keeping it pretty even. I'm believing in my setups for the most part. Trying not to fake myself out. I really wanted that setup. I just need to stop. <laughs> I messed it up again. Who said Brad doesn't have range? So I start punishing that. Sometimes I save habits just so I can get him later. But I also, that Korean backdash, because I've been practicing it so much, it ends up biting me a few times and, and against both people. He caught me there. I actually did not think. I mean, that throw <laughs> is pretty annoying. I thought if I was lying down that I'd be okay. I got the reset throw. I mean, he just keeps getting me with it. I haven't labbed that. That's one thing I'm going to do. It's a good reminder. But I close it out because I knew he was going to do a last second. Oh, my God, I'm going to die if I don't get out of this combo. So first set, he took some time. We load in. I'm feeling pretty good, but I know not to be overconfident. Usually if you win the first game, they know a bunch of your habits and they'll start exploiting them way more hardcore to beat you in the second one. And I've noticed I don't always have the staying power that I want uh, in the third game. So if I want to win, I want to win the first two. Or it'll go opposite where I lose the first one and then I just, everything comes together. He's doing such a good job reading me. I mean, he's just making sure that I pay for all just doing the same stuff over and over. Of course, I'm getting him back. I mean, look, it's we're past half health. Didn't know lying down that she could grab. It makes me so mad. I did it on purpose so she couldn't. And then I could, uh, you know, it is what it is. So here we are. I still don't know what he's doing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing apparently either. I want so badly to do fake out setups without having made him uh, respect me first and that gets me 
as well. As a Brad player, I know better, and yet I still do it. Ooh, that was sick. Hey, okay, really good. He knows I like to press buttons. So I'm just trying to get some simple mix-ups on him. I didn't finish that. I didn't get the grab. So sad. That was pretty easy to read because, again, he does low sweep an extreme amount. But he's going to punish me. He definitely knows the Brad matchup much better than I know Tamaki. There's nothing wrong with that. I messed up, so I was like, well, I'll get something. And I didn't grab punish him. Oh, and he makes me pay for it. I hate that. When you shouldn't have even gotten punished and now suddenly you pay the price, well, that's why you punish correctly. It's a big deal in DOA. DOA sways so much. He's got so much momentum here, too. And I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. I'm too scared. I really am. And he punishes me again. He knew. He was really patient. He had a huge life lead. That was really nice of him. He just waited out. And then whiff, grab, punish me. So, third round, I know I've been kind of getting goofy. He's getting more confident, and you'll see it. He gets even more aggressive in his play. I'm still trying to force setups that he's just not falling for. I know what worked the first time, so I hate when I do dumb stuff like that. But one thing about Brad is sometimes just flowing, even when it's an idiotic thing, is better. That was a really nice read on my part. I felt pretty sick about that. It's like, yo, I'm on fire. But I was pretty warmed up, so I was pretty stoked. But I'm such a respectful player, and he makes me pay for it. It is such a good uh, thing on his part, especially Tamaki. Yeah, he got a little baby combo. I just, I keep trying. I thought I did really good there getting that reset. I uh, messed up there. I actually forgot what I was going to do, and then by the time I remembered the correct response, he makes me pay for it. That's yet another reason why... No matter how many times you've laughed, you're not playing your character. I made him eat that so bad. I was like, yeah, I was waiting on purpose. I, I really thought he'd stop doing it because I did it. I punished him so like so hard there. I mean, that was a lot of damage. But, I mean, Tamaki's whole kit is built on the, these like weird catch grab thing. You know, those offensive hold grabs. Oh, my gosh, I could not believe he got that. I just so overwhelmed at this point. He had all the momentum. When I'm moving forward like that, I do not, as a player, that's how I know I'm about to be really stupid. And it already got me a half health right there. Yeah. I mean, he's making me pay. Ooh, I love that. And there it is. I really didn't think he was going to do it. I'm like, no, he won't. I made him eat so much damage, but... I didn't have the wall to my back. So, you know, I just, I knew at that point that he, he definitely had caught me and he was going to make sure that I knew it. So, working to the next one, if I can get it. All right, so, end zone, Momiji. Uh, I'm curious to actually watch this now. I just spent all night labbing her and trying to understand how she works, what her hits are and everything. Just never gave her the time of day. Never barely looked at five. So uh, it's just you you pay for not being a part of it. So here I am doing for no reason. I mean, i am already got good spacing. There's no reason for it. So, ooh. Now I can actually look at his setups too. Woohoo! So, yeah, got a staple. Staple combo. I really don't. I just kind of do my damage with Brad. I'm pretty. I couldn't believe that didn't hit. I was actually kind of bummed. I think that's actually low grab punishable now that I look at it now, but I'm going to have to try. And he. He punished me for that a few times too. I would just run back, run back, because I wanted to get the running grab. I just created a new setup right before this tournament. I was going to use it on him. <laughs> I never got it. I don't think I got it on him one time. I was so sad. Hey, I actually know what's going on. Woohoo! But I didn't at the time. So I'm trying to get 
push out of the corner. He wasn't near as um, uh, bad habit wise. Nothing was like really standing out. But again, she was just so confusing to me that that was one of the only things I remember him doing is that she was either going to go get the flip grab for a launcher or she was going to do like punch punch and you know the fake out into grab I know Ian Zone loves to do that a lot <laughs> that's a little wild who the hell does that but again I'm I'm just trying to force things uh, too much I'm not paying attention to my spacing to do the proper proper moves to give him but I really expect him to move forward if he doesn't he just literally stays back and he makes me pay all day he just whiff punishes. He just plays, you know, and are you still high in the air? And I was just so confused. What do you do? What do you do? So, going to this next match, I just try to concentrate. What do you do when you don't know how characters operate? You literally just make crap up and pay attention to like one element of their play. Like when they're doing a setup, uh, they do a mid punch here as their final stun before this, or like, see, he did the punch. I'm like, oh, I'm going to punish that, the, the fake out. I didn't know I was going to get the sit down stun. So I was a little bummed about that. I just want to keep my momentum here. I have the, the lead and I know that. So this time I wait patiently. I'm, I tend to be better when I'm in lead. Oh, I love that. That was so fun. I was like, yo, let's go. Both have the same kind of mindset, fake out deal. I still didn't know what to do. Ah, cool. Okay. Yeah, see, he does that a lot. So I just. What do you do? I did not want to get hit by the tanker. That was the only thing I could think about. I actually thought he was going to punish me because of that, but he didn't. It makes me think. Uh, a lot of times that I'm paying more attention to the stage than my opponent. Especially this stage. I freaking cannot stand. Oh, look at the dodges. Look at the dodge. I really thought I was going to out-time that. A little bummed about that because I thought I was getting some nice groove in. But he caught me. Here I catch him again. Trying to switch it up, but I realized what I did. That was good. He didn't know what I was going to do, so just pick everything. I wasn't paying attention to his meter, and that was another very important thing. I could have uh, really pushed. I mean, look at that pressure. He's just getting me. I'm like, what is he doing? I don't know. I do now. I can actually, I mean, I recognize everything now, but it's only because hours of labbing because I didn't understand what her animations were, what hit properly were, everything. He does a he does a pretty good job of mixing it up with her. Um, it seems like his combos are a little basic, but it doesn't really matter because his pressure is good with her, and he had some pretty unique ideas, like jumped over like that. I thought that was really cool. I mean, he does a really good job of using her in that way. So here, I mean, see, I just stay in close. I'm, I mean, he's already a roundup, and I won't. I get a lucky counter there because I happen to recognize the string last second. But at at this point, you know, he's still, he's got the lead the whole time. He's so comfortable. Yeah, at that point, even though I had good stuns, like I wasn't following my normal sequence that I would do out of my one to three. And it just started eating away at it. I needed everything that I had so here I back up I didn't really think that was a bad move however a couple of chips here and there and it's over man so GG's uh, thank you JB for the warm ups uh, after our games too that's a big deal like huge shout out to that so we could stay warm uh, before our, our match our next match going on. I feel like very few players do that. They just want to play their friends. But it was a lot of fun. 
And uh, I'm definitely going to be coming back a lot stronger in the next one. Tamaki's on, on the block, but I need to learn Momiji a bit more. But I hope you guys enjoy this little commentary. Stay frosty, my friends. And I will definitely catch you in the next one. Uh, trying to get in as many tournaments as possible, man. We're going to make this happen. We're going to bring back what I can do with DOA. Oh, on the final note, I did forget about that. So, uh, uh, we'll save it for another time. Fuzzy guarding, dude. I'm so mad. All right, peace out.